hello everyone welcome to my channel today our topic is filtering how to use it so how important it is and why it's important you know sometimes we have a huge amount of data and around like hundreds of thousands of rows and columns so when we apply this we can find by filtering we can find a specific Thing. and so we can filter in many ways for example here we can filter by dealer ID dealer name model quantity sold profit city everything so and it's pretty easy we just come here under the data we can find filter here when I click here a tiny drop down icon appears here so when I click on one of these I can filter I can apply the filter on that column for example here I want to filter by city I click here you can see the cities I unselect all of these and I just select two cities now London and Madrid so I choose these two and okay you can see now I have the London and the Madrid here and also from the models I can apply you know I can apply many filters in my workbook or worksheet so I just come here and apply I just choose Salish I need the Salish in these two cities you can see it's Madrid London and I have the Salish here so it's very easy and also sometimes when we search on a specific value we can filter that we just select that for example i just need george here i just right click and here i have the filter i just come here and select the first one filter by select sales value you can see now i just have the george it's pretty easy and also if I want from a specific year and I just come here and we have from 2020 and 2021 I just select 2020 you can see we need some specific things from the dealer name is George the model is Solish from year 2020 and different months so i want to, if we want to remove the filter it's pretty easy i just click on this and clear filter from dealer name you can see and also we apply same thing here and here and and also we can check all of these and okay it works the same and for numbers it works a little bit better we can apply many different things on number for example i click on this yes we have this but we have some specific tools here filter numbers when i click here we have different i we have between less than or equal less than greater i just choose this one top 10 when i click on this top 10 items here from here we can adjust you need top 10 top 10 or top bottom you can choose from here and also we have we can like apply items and percentage here and from here we can adjust top 10 top 11 okay and okay you can see we have top 10 here easy peasy and if you want to remove you just come here and clear the filter and also we can apply that here also i just come here and i can apply on greater than we have like i choose greater than 20 
greater than 20. I just type 20 and OK. You can see we have here greater than 20. It's easy peasy. So if you want to remove the filter, we just come here and remove it. And also if you want to apply it on dip, just just come here and you name. We have different kinds of options here. Tomorrow, between today, yesterday, next year, this year, last year. You can see I have files from 2021. Yeah, it works magically. So that's it about filtering. Thank you for watching this video. If you are new here, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thank you.